All right, I'm Matthew Von Arx, and I'm presenting Set It and Forget It. So, congratulations when it goes. So, you've inherited about a 400,000 line code base representing 40 individually compiled CMake projects, but there's good news because you have an existing bug tracking system in Redmine. But the software has been managed by a single contract developer over the course of the past 10 years. He didn't use any consistent practices or organize his SVN branches and definitely didn't have a deployment strategy. But don't worry, it's only time for a release. <laughs> so, you try and untangle what this deployment strategy might have been. Let's see what we've got. The builds appear to be hand-stitched for each release cycle, and furthermore, that's only managed by a few thousand lines of bash. And the more you look at it, the more it begins to stink. But don't worry, we've got Jenkins here to clean it all up for us. Thanks, buddy. With Jenkins, you can trigger your builds on VCS commits, you can centralize your builds to a common server, chain your dependencies, distribute to email into your corporate network, and integrate with your existing bug tracking systems. But what about that branch management strategy? Oh, what strategy? Branches are organic. We like organic food, don't we? <laughs> don't worry, we can get this mess straightened out. Introducing a conversion from SVN to Git where we can visualize our mistakes. <laughs> How about a model for managing those branches? No problem with a concept similar to Git flow that matches our business environment. And what about hosting? So we've got a good concept for using Git. Well, we could always call on our friend from GitHub, Mr. Octocat, but our organization basically requires all services to be locally hosted. Sad Octocat, don't cry, little buddy. Introducing GitLab, where you can locally host your repositories. With GitLab, not only do you get local hosting, but there's also simple user management, branch push protections, and HTTP push requests out of the box. <clears throat> so how about those pesky workspaces? You know how this beautiful snowflake of a system works, but your team has no clue what you've been doing for months, and you definitely don't want to painstakingly update all of their work environments, but that's okay, because you've got Docker. So with Docker, you can centralize your workspace management, there's version control baked in, you have reusable layers for your build system, and you get a centralized distribution model. So, you now have this beautiful workflow where users write code in a Docker, and they leverage CMake to help locally build their code. You've gotten them familiar with Git, so they can push to your GitLab server, which triggers Jenkins to build a software who notifies your bug reporting system, and subsequently your developers. But what if you want more? Did I hear you want to monitor your build warnings? So in swoops the LLVM dragon with their client compiler, and since it's never good to put all your eggs in one basket, no pun intended, you lay a GCC egg and allow a baby bull to be born. <laughs> so that static analysis, you say, rescued by the LLVM dragon again with Clang Tidy, and this time he's got a sidekick with CPP check along for the ride. How about testing? Well, there are lots of fun and exciting test frameworks to use out there, but you're already using Boost libraries in your project, so why not? Boost test to the scene. And too much tooling? No, no. Let's get code coverage with KCOV and get really nice HTML report outputs. Now that you have code that runs locally on your machines, you can sanitize that code. And don't worry, LLVM's got you covered again, and we can't forget about including sanitizers from our buddy Baby Bowl to keep us balanced. No. Well, now you throw all this together with Jenkins in the middle, stack analysis, compiler warnings, and sanitizers from Clang, warnings and sanitizers from GCC, stack analysis from CPP check, unit tests from boost tests, and coverage reports from KCOV all feeding into a centralized system. Oh, and documentation, you didn't think I'd forget about that, did you? Well, don't worry, Jenkins can spit that right out for you. <laughs> Jenkins, our handy little butler, would not only run all of this, but also aggregate the results. You want CPP check trend res res results? You've got it. How about those Clang Toddy reports? Bam. Feeling more like GCC compiler warnings, anybody? Maybe you feel more like Clang warnings today. How are your tests running? Oh, I've got a good report right here. And are we covering all of our bases? Yeah, I get a summary every build. So, pulling it all together, we start with Redmine and CMake, but then we added Jenkins and Git and GitLab and Docker and KCOV and CPP check and Doxygen and Boost Test and GCC and Clang and covered it all with some sanitizers. Well, you shake it all up and what do you get? Jenkins with his GitLab necklace riding a docker whale named Doxygen, raining in his pet LLVM dragon, all while transforming CPP check, GCC, Git, KCOV, CMake, and boost test containers through Redmond Rainbow. All right?